he's really in between a rock and a hard place because if the law says that you must consult with the village council to deal with any lands in the village and there's clearly been absolutely no consultation he can point to then his only other choice is to say well the land isn't in the village so it's not surprising not only that it's also, he also says that it's privately owned that, 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 that they approach this businessman uh, Mr. Singh to, um, to, buy, to buy the land from him not from the council per se even though yeah but you, you do appreciate the contradiction in what you just said because you said the land is privately owned, but it can still be privately owned if they bought it from the, per from the private person well, with public before, money. But yes, but it doesn't matter who owned it back then. It's who owns it now, and if the government owns it now, it is public lands. Um, if it was that Mr. Ellington wanted to do a private development, he should have taken money out of his own pocket and give his friend Mr. Singh, and then he could have done with the land exactly as he pleased.